YouTubers, it's Natalie here once again, and today I'm going to talk to you about my natural hair and pretty much my routine, my weekly slash monthly routine, and pretty much what I've been doing with it for the past six months. So if you're interested in learning or seeing what I do, stay tuned. As you can see, this is my hair flat ironed. So you can see from the root, it's come down, no tracks, anything. This is my hair, all of my hair. Um... Yes. So, I have not had a perm since May. So, this is going on about seven months. This is my seventh, seventh month without a perm. So, I do have at least three inches of new growth. So, pretty much this much is new growth from the root to here. Um, and it's it's a lot. The only reason why I straightened it right now is because it's the winter time, it's dry, and there's no humidity, so my hair's not going to poof right up. So this is really the only time I can flat iron my hair and have results that I want. I cut my hair. Yes, so I don't know if you could tell, you probably can't tell, but from the other videos, my hair has, was longer, it was actually longer than this. I cut about five inches off. Um, why? Because... <laughs> My hair, it was a mess. It was, the, the the way that my hair was permed, it was so uneven. So, let me give you an example. So, this is natural, so it's like poof. Then, from about here to here, it's dead straight hair, which is permed hair. Then, at the end, it's kind of like texturized hair. And then, the part that I cut off was dead ends again. So, it got to the point where it was just like, it, it was too much, so I, ca I called my roommate, and I was like, could you just cut my hair? Just, just cut it. So we just short, just blunt cut it, and my hair looks so much more healthier than it did. So I'm going to get a few guys show you my hair. So I'm going to keep this. So my hair is um, right up, like, a about an inch above bra strap length. Um, it has grown since I've cut it. I've been experimenting with like with a lot of products to see what goes right with my hair, and because I'm still not, I'm I'm still in that experimental phase, which where I have not found exactly what works for my hair. Um, but I will tell you what I do use right now. So, conditioner. I make sure my hair is moisturized all the time. Obviously, except for now because it's flat ironed. But after I wash this out, oh, I'm going straight back to this. I live. I live by this. This, hello, okay, this is herbal, 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 herbal essences, um, hello hydration. Oh my, like, I did not know I had curls until I used this. Like, my hair feels so nice when I wash it, or when I co-wash it, where I just, like, condition it after I have this in. It's ridiculous. I love this. This works for natural hair, too. I have, um, a couple, I know a couple of people that actually use this. My aunt uses this. She's natural. Um, my, another one of my aunts, she's transitioning, she's used this, my mom uses this, she's transitioning as well, and everyone raves about this product right here, so bam. If you want to try something, try this. Another thing that I, I, this is something new that I've used, and I've realized that it works very well for me. Um, this is a line called Beautiful Curls. It's kind of like, it's kind of similar to Kinky Cur Kink, to Jessie's Curls, to Kinky Curly... You know those those brands. It's similar, and I actually found this pretty much in the same area um, at Whole Foods. This, when I tell you, this made my hair so soft. Um, it's great. What Something I love about this brand, which is called Beautiful Curls, is that they don't just limit the, their products. Like, they have products for all different kind of curly textures. So... Um, they have it from wavy to curly, and then this is from curly to kinky. So, if you're African American text, you know, hair texture, you might as well try this. In this, 
it says it is shea butter and coconut hydrating curl oil this is such a luxurious oil it's it feels it is not thick but when you put it on your hair it may, it feels like butter it's running through your hair it's just so good i'm gonna read you off the ingredients so in this oil we have west african sesame oil shea leaf um, infused sunflower oil, shea butter, virgin coconut oil, baoba something oil, uh, lavender essential oil, and yang yang's essential. I don't I don't know. It's 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 they're all oils, natural oils. Amazing. As you can see, I haven't used too much of it just yet, but I can tell you this bottle will be gone pretty soon. What do I use to shampoo my hair? I haven't really found that shampoo that is um, amazing and just you know. That's my go-to shampoo just yet. So I've experimented around with a couple of different shampoos. I've experimented with a Suave um, Naturals shampoo. Um, I also experimented with Giovanni um, Hydrating shampoo. That one is sulfate-free for all you guys that are looking for something that's sulfate-free and not drying for your hair. Um, but I, I shampoos are just shampoos for me right now. I haven't found anything that's just amazing for my hair. So, I'm not going to show you guys because I'm every single time I wash my hair, it's something different. When I flat iron my hair, I there's a system that I use. I don't just decide to flat iron my hair out of the blue. It I have to plan, like, okay, this is the weather for next week. It, there's going to be low humidity these days, so I can flat iron my hair. So, I plan ahead when I'm going to flat iron. So, when I decide to flat iron, I have to wash my hair, deep condition my hair, Give my hair um, a protein, a moisturizing treatment first. I give my hair a moisturizing treatment, rinse it out, and let it air dry. As it's air drying, I put a heat protectant on it. So I don't put any kind of oils or anything because what I realize when I have oils and stuff, my hair tends to burn because when you put oils and heat together, it's just going to burn it off and my hair starts smelling like smoke and fire. And that's not, that's not appealing. So... When my hair is still wet after I rinse it out, I put heat protectant. And I've been using this heat protectant lately, which is the IC um, Hair Polisher Heat Protectant Straight Serum, yada yada. Um, I like this. I really do. It smells like strawberries. It smells so good. Um, I, I like this because of the consistency. Now, a little bit goes a long way, as you can see. Um, I really like this, as, and this is also good if, even if you're not flat ironing, if you're just, if you just want some shine in your hair, if your hair's looking dull, you could use this as well. Silicone, you know, it's just coating your hair. I use this, let it air dry, and then I go ahead and flat iron. I don't put, I don't, I try not to, to blow dry it, unless I'm in a rush. Um, now, my, the heat protectors I've been using, I really go back to this one all the time. I've been using, I've tried the Chi, which is, you know, some, it's like $18. Um, but my mom bought it for me, so I tried it. <laughs> um, the Chi actually works. It's not as thick as this. It's more of like, it's a little bit more watery than this. And it has like a yellowish pigment to it. But what I do realize when I use Chi is my hair comes out looking more shinier and healthier than this one. I feel like this one coats your hair more and it my hair does look healthy but it it like there's not as much shine as to it than um if I were to use a chi. But oop, <laughs> I still come back to this one. After you know after I straighten it and flat iron it and everything, when I decide to wash it, I make sure I give my hair a protein treatment. It's very it's very um It's very important that you give your hair a protein treatment, especially after intense heat, to um, bring back some kind of life to your hair. Sometimes I'll do a, a pH treatment from Afoji. They have a two-minute ker keratin treatment. I sometimes use that. But you want to make sure that you give a protein treatment to your hair after you flat iron. So that's what I make sure I do. And pretty much that's it. That's a deep conditioner and... I wash my hair whenever I feel like it, oil my scalp, oil my hair when I feel it's dry, 
protective stylings, throw my hair up in a bun, all That's the time. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my hair. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you want me to explain something else about my hair, or give you guys my opinions, I always try to reply or try to respond to my comments, so go ahead and leave some comments down here if you have questions or whatever, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Anyways, YouTubers, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!